Hey everyone, so in the middle of Book of Boba Fett and with the announcement that John Williams is returning to score the music for the Kenobi series, we also learned that composer Nicholas Brattel will be taking on the same role for the upcoming Andor series on Disney+. And since this is another new composer coming to the galaxy far, far away, I wanted to take today to talk a little bit about what that could mean for the sound of Star Wars. This is Star Wars Music Analysis. Do it. Now, for those who aren't familiar, the upcoming Andor series, which is set to premiere in late summer or early fall, is based on the character Cassian Andor, played by Diego Luna from the Rogue One movie and his role within the fledgling Rebel Alliance. Since Andor dies in Rogue One, we can pretty safely assume the timeline will be several years before the events of that movie, setting it in the height of Imperial rule. The show is expected to be full of dark moments in the Rebel history and will likely feature Black Ops type scenarios such as assassinations and spy missions. We'll also be getting Forrest Whitaker reprising his role as the beloved and hated rebel guerrilla fighter Saul Guerrera and Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma. I'm also curious if this series will tie in with Thrawn, depending on just how far before A New Hope it's set. Considering that Disney is likely building two a big Thrawn unveil in the Mandalorian and Ahsoka shows, this could be a great tie-in to those other shows. But that's more for other channels right now since it's not really the music. We also know though that the show is already beginning production for season 2, so we know this is a storyline and music that will continue beyond just one season. So we actually found out about Bertel coming to Star Wars back in mid-February, but with Book of Boba Fett wrapping up and people looking for Kenobi trailers, this got lost in the chatter. And I thought this would be a good time to mention it before getting into more Kenobi-based materials in future weeks. Speaking of upcoming videos though, don't forget to subscribe in order to see new videos that I put out on a weekly basis about the music of a galaxy far, far away. But this is a particularly big announcement. Given that the show will run for multiple seasons, giving us plenty of Bertel's soundscape to listen to. Patel's current and likely most notable project is the HBO series Succession. He's also received Oscar nominations for his scores in If Beale Street Could Talk, Moonlight, Netflix's recent release Don't Look Up, among many other shows and movies. Patel is also known to have worked directly with Queen Amidala, also known to some as Natalie Portman, on her directorial debut Eve, and later on Amidala's film New York, I Love You. In all of these examples, the scores have a heightened sense of drama, and Bertel's work often pulls from both the classical vein as well as hip-hop. The scores often have a very atmospheric feel to them, and I think that this could work really well for something like Andor, which is supposedly going to be a very dark look at the Rebellion before its major victories at the Battle of Yavin or the liberation of the Fall. The more energetic scenes could play well into Pertel's hip-hop aesthetics as well. However, I'm curious how well this music is going to tie into anything senatorial that we see with characters like Mon Mothma, since that is something we've only ever really seen within the prequel era. I'm also guessing that the music will veer away from the original John Williams style of focusing heavily on character themes and light motifs and more electronic undertones and soundscapes similar to how Ludwig Garnson has scored The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. But I could see this playing really well into a show that isn't likely going to be trying as hard as Mandalorian to do fan service. But I'm very curious what you all think. Are you excited about what Bratel can bring to the Star Wars galaxy? Do you have a favorite show, movie, or example from Bratel? And what kinds of sounds do you think we'll actually hear? Tell me what you think in the comments below and tell me if I've missed anything in this episode. And before you go, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to hear more about the music of a galaxy far, far away. And as always, may the 
be with you.